in the Fnatic vs Fury game, one round early in the game decided the fate of the entire match. And you will be able to learn from this round of what not to do in your ranked games. Welcome, this is round 5 from the yesterday's match from VCT Lock-In in Brazil, Sao Paulo. Furia is leading 3-1, so they have Fnatic already on the silver platter because they are fighting against a lower buy. Two classics and, well, essentially just two guns. The Bulldog, I don't think it's a real gun, <laughs> you know, you can argue with me in the comments. But this is a round that we're gonna just play it out because it's actually kinda nuts. Furia plays it really well. They get early control of A main. And because of that, they're able to push in and just get a lot of space. Now, entire Fnatic is going towards the C long. They see it, XQC, <laughs> QCK, quick, is able to stop the push with the snake bites. And you can see that the entire A now is going to be controlled by Harbo after he pushes that smoke combined with the flash. Right now... The entire force of Fnatic is being boxed into either C or B push, but B is being controlled by Killjoy. So, Furia just has an easy hold against the lower buys, and it's a 5v2. Now, this is where everything crumbles. It's a 5v2, and the correct decision for the team of the five players is to do what? You guessed it wrong. It's to do nothing. You should be doing nothing in this moment, because... The opposing team stopped pushing. The opposing team is not doing anything. And the only way of a team winning this round in a 2v5 is, is if the opponent are gonna throw. So pay attention to the position of the harbor on the minimap. He is already pushing out of A main. And after three players are done, he is now out in the open in a position of exactly nowhere. Right? And he's running the entire direction... The, um, the entirety of this um, of this uh, area, he ran out. He might, might have been actually with a knife out. So he runs again, and he goes into the jet, and Deke just kills him for free. And this allows now Fnatic to gain space. Because the thing is that this player is pivotal to the entire round. If this player is alive and he just stands over here or maybe stands over here and he just look, and he's just watching if the opponents are going back from C long then he's able to transfer that knowledge to the teammates and the teammates can have just a hold in this area and do essentially nothing because the opposing team still has to go to C side if they're not going into the other direction but if this teammate dies then essentially your own teammates are kinda in a bad position because now this entire part of the map has lost the control because it was only one player controlling this entire space. So once the harbor dies, Dirk is able to push onto A short and fake the rotation because Breach is still holding on C. And that's a very good decision because what happens is that Dirk is baiting the opposing team that this is an A execute now because they killed the harbor and uh, another massive mistake still needs to happen for Fnatic to stand the chance. So don't get me wrong, this is a round where Fnatic played it really smart and really well, but Furia massively threw. And the first throw, most important, is this harbor. But pay attention to what is happening later on. So now, now you're gonna see that Jet is running into short. And he's drawing the attention from B and A because they hear those steps in short, right? And this is where the this is where it, everything crumbles for Furia. Again, the same reason. The player from C from platform, I'm gonna rewind this and show you on screen. Look at how the player reacts. Quick from Furia here on platform. His only job is to watch C. What does he do when he hears the rotation on short from his teammates? He's gonna swap the camera. But look, look at this. He is literally bunny hopping with a knife out. That's something that teammates in rank do notoriously. They notoriously die while bunny hopping with a knife out because they hear someone else communicating something. It's like, oh, it's one way short. Okay, then most likely that's no one C. Wrong. There's a player here. He was there the entire time. But Furia lost the control, and if this player would have just stand still or rotate with a gun out, then he had at least a fighting chance. But this is two players lost now without a gun. I'm assuming um, 
I'm assuming that Harbour also didn't have a gun out there because Decker didn't even get one point of damage, right? So this is another kill that they get for free. Now, Killjoy stands on sight, right? And you can see that Chronicle plays smart, waits. So he's drawing another singular player into a 1v1. This is a 3v2, still there's a huge advantage. But if the Killjoy now overpeaks, Chronicle's playing it smart, isolates the angle so he can be only peaked from here because no one is gonna peak him so fast from this angle, he just dictates the tempo of the round. And he's waiting for the jet. Another smart play, right? So he had a chance at killing that player on backside C. And now, again, look! What happened? Sky this time got caught off with the knife in hands. Look! I would, two players for sure, but essentially a third player gets killed without even having a chance to fight. Because over rotations happen, and his new Zera in this position literally repeats, repeats the mistake that Mazin did at the beginning of the round. So the isolation of kills, every single fight that, kill, uh, that Fnatic had in this round after that 2v5 was an isolation and outsmarting the opponents, making them over-rotate. This is like unreal how much they got done. And Chronicle now uses the ults, goes on the side, perfect bait because he knows they're going to be in CT because he knows about the player in the window on double dose, but he jumped up and Deke told him that. So he knows that CT... It's gonna be two players. He baits the spike plant. He knows he has a moment to strike because of the flash. So he gets info on both now. And this is a small, small mistake from Fnatic here because this is not coordinated well enough. Delka didn't wait for the flash because there could have been another flash being used on this box from here to flash or like even on the wall over here to flash the player that is already committed into CT. But Delka didn't wait for that because the flash happens right now, but he still wins. The 1v1. This is a 50 50. Here, a little bit late on the trade, but they isolated. Played in a, in a trade a little bit late, but still, they absolutely dismantled Furia and showcased that even pro players have the absolutely horrendous bad habits that you see at Immortal 3 and Radiant in ranked. And that is easily fixable. Remember, my friends, you never ever want to over rotate just because someone heard a step you want to be patient and even if you rotate don't bunny hop with a knife out have your gun out and be worried about the angle that you are leaving so you can always look behind you you can run the same speed while looking into your back it doesn't matter which direction you're looking you're always running the same speed thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and there's an entire vod of this match that is like three hours long in another playlist on this channel if you would like to watch uh the breakdown of other rounds see you around